up, guys? Second video of my Digital Logic Operating System series. God damn it, Digital Logic series, not my Operating System series. I'll get back to that later. Anyway, um, in this video, we're going to talk about um, uh, a way to synthesize a Digital Logic circuit from a um, truth table. So, first, let's go ahead and get a truth table going. Do a three variable truth table since it's easy yet not too easy, I guess. Not too complicated. Okay, so how are we going to find our logic circuit from this? Uh, the first way we're going to do this, uh, and that's the way we're doing it today, is with what's called uh, sum of products synthesis. So, sum of products, and the reason we call it that is because an AND gate is considered to be a product. And or he is considered to be a sum. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, what gives us an asserted output, and we're going to try to figure out what that is as an AND gate. So how can we represent these zeros as an AND gate? Uh, well, if we take the opposite of these and we assert them, we have 1, 1, 1, all added together gives us 1. So all we have to do here for our first part of this term is not all of our terms. For this one, one of them is already asserted, so we don't have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is A and B. So all we have to do here is not A and B, well, if that were a 1, because I can read. In this case, the next one that's actually 1 is just A is 0, so I have to do is not A. B, C. Okay, and then B and C are zeros, but A is not. So, B not C not. And finally, C is a zero, but A and B are both ones, so all I have to do is write about C. And there you go. That is a logic expression for our truth table. And now we just have to transform that into a digital logic circuit using AND gates or gates that we talked about last time. So to do that, we see we have one, two, three, four. Four AND gates that are both that are both that are all three inputs each. So let's just create those. We have four, and they're each three inputs. Here. Okay. Okay, and then let's create. Uh, a, B, and C up here. Now, we're going to, the way we're going to do this is we're going to maximize our use, or rather minimize, our use of inverter, inverters. So in this expression, we see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 inverters, which, I mean, given the grand scope, isn't a lot, but uh, I mean, for all of the variables we have here, we have 12 variables and 7 of them are inverted. That's a substantial number. And we can just, uh, well, we have the variables are used 12 times. We only have 3 variables and we have 7 inverters. So we only need 3 inverters to get this done. So the way we're going to do that is we are going to, oh, I should draw this lower. Take this one off. Put it down here. Okay. Draw our inverters like that. So now we, what we can do is we can A, B, and C alongside our inverters, and we can just choose from these buses uh, a string of inputs like this is called a bus. And we can choose from which of these buses we pull from. So in our first example, so let's do that just to signify that we have a conjunction there of wires and not like a crossover. So the first thing here is A, B, and C naught. So these are all inverters. A, B, C naught. Next one, B and C are not inverted, but A is. So A, B. 
C, so we chose to pull from this bus for A and this bus from B and C. B is C not, so A. B C not. And then final one is A B uh, A. Uh, B and C naught. Hard to read this way, but uh, you saw how I did it, and you can trace the wires if you have to. And then this is just one big OR, right? So this is equal to our output function. This is just one big OR. And this gives us our output. And that is how you do uh, some products synthesis of a truth table. Now, this can obviously be simplified, which we'll talk about later when we talk about Carnot maps and Boolean algebra. Uh, but for now, I mean, this is exactly what you should get for as a sum of products. And uh, next time, we're going to talk about De Morgan's theorem and product sums, which go very much hand in hand. And that's the other way of like, kind of mechanically synthesizing any truth table you come across. So until then, uh, hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you.